Hi guys, we're back down on the mat today with this super targeted workout that's going to focus on the abs and obliques. So you do not need any equipment for this workout other than your mat. If you're ready, go ahead, roll it out and let's do it. All right, I feel like if you guys have been with me for a while, by now you know the drill of no workout, especially an ab workout, is complete without some planking. So we're gonna start in a forearm plank. That's what I said. If you want, you can modify from the knees, but if you're on the knees, just make sure that you're not here. This is not a plank. The butt should be level with the shoulders, so knees would just walk back. Otherwise, up to the toes here, and we're gonna be doing hip twists. Now, one thing I want to point out here, the feet should not be going with like this, side to side. Often I see that, and then it's really just the legs that are twisting you. The abs and obliques are doing very little. So, whether you're on the feet or the knees, that stays planted, the hips, the legs, the hips do move, the legs do not move. So it's going to be a little bit smaller and it's gonna be a little bit more targeted. We're going for 50 of these, so press up on the shoulders, here we go. It's right and left. And while I've got you here, just going to mention again, I mentioned it a few times, but if you guys want some kind of shorter workouts and just other health, lifestyle, nutrition information, be sure to go and follow me on Instagram at F2DFitness. I'll leave it up here on the screen. And then also down below in the description box, Leo is shouting his greeting in the background. <laughs> Leo, buddy. <laughs> I don't know what he's on about. He has had breakfast, so I don't know what he's on about. Sometimes after eating breakfast, he does like to be chased. So it could be that. <clears throat> Do you guys have cats who like to be chased? It's his favorite thing, other than the, um, the hose. The hose is his other favorite toy slash game. Few more here. Here's four, three, two, one. Knees down and press back up to the knees here. So, should be feeling warm through there. You're gonna come up onto the knees. So if knees are a little sensitive, I do recommend padding underneath. We're gonna drop, no, that's a lie. We're gonna extend one foot out to the side here. So if those of you are pointing forward, it's not out to the side like that, because we wanna keep the hips square to the front. You're gonna reach arms up overhead, and we're gonna take a tilt. So inhale down. Exhale back up, keep back long, and then keep everything open to the front. We're doing 20 of these total, really squeezing from the obliques, engaging there. Hello, here he is. Here's my special guy. Isn't he just the greatest? So if anybody is new here, this is Leo. This is my little buddy. We do have three cats, um, but Leo is just the one who likes to be the most in the spotlight, I guess. Sometimes Layla makes an appearance. She's probably outside right now. She's our big Maine Coon kitten. Luna rarely makes appearances. Luna's actually just here to my side over there on the shelf looking very cute. It's funny because like in person, Luna is probably, the, she's the most sociable in some ways. Well, Leo is too. Um, like Leo will go right up to people and greet them. Luna, if you're sitting for a while, she will just like demand love. Last one here. And then you're gonna drop that hand down. This bottom leg, if you need to, you can spin the foot around there and be more comfortable for the hip. Top arm comes up overhead. We're gonna float this leg 20 times. You squeeze knee to elbow, extend. But yeah, so if we have people over or anything like that, Luna is often the favorite. 
She's very, very popular because she's incredibly cute when we have gatherings. Like she just always wants to be part of it. So for example, last year we hosted Thanksgiving and we had to set a separate chair at the dining room table for Luna because she insisted on sitting with everybody at the dining room table. So that's some insight into Luna, even though she doesn't really like to show up on camera. She is very much large and in charge in person. A few more here, but they're all great. They're all great, very different. Here's two. Last one, you're gonna keep this leg floating, arm's gonna reach straight up, so make sure it's not uh, doing a sad sink. Make sure that you're not collapsing forward either. So we want to be pressing both hips nice and flat, and we're gonna twist through here. So you're gonna take that arm, reach through, now this hip will dip, because we're twisting, and then open it back up, 20 of these. Working, like I said, to keep that leg nice and lifted. Imagine you're just wringing yourself out so it really is a full, satisfying twist. She has nice actually for the shoulders as well. Just make sure you're staying pressed up out of that bottom shoulder. And for those of you who have asked before are wondering, I do love dogs also. I've never had a dog just because I feel like I've never, I do feel like a dog is a bigger responsibility than a cat. They're pretty independent. We don't have to take them out for walks. Um, they go to the bathroom inside. So I do feel like they're pretty independent. So like while we're working um, and living, in a small apartment in the city makes a lot more sense. Um, I would honestly feel guilty having a dog right now and then basically just kind of ignoring it. Um, and I would be really lazy having to take it for walks in the winter time here or actually right now in the summer as well. Last one there. This bottom leg, we're gonna extend, step it behind the top leg so we're at a full side plank and we're gonna pulse here for 20. But yeah, one day, I would like to have a dog when I'm living in a place with more space. So hopefully with a yard, so I could let the dog just run around the yard. And I would like to have a German Shepherd. That is like, that's my pick, I think. So if you guys are, if anyone has a German Shepherd familiar with the breed, let me know. Last one there, and then go ahead. Release, shake it out. We're gonna repeat all of that on the second side. So opposite knee obviously comes down. We extend here, toes are pointing forward, hips here. So again, just watch that you're not opening out to the side. Arms are gonna reach up, shoulders stay down. Nice long through the torso, inhale. We tilt, exhale. We squeeze back up and we never want to be too fast. So I mention this a lot, but anytime we're doing kind of the rebound, so that's gonna be the upward motion here. If that's rushed, it's gonna be momentum. We're gonna be using the joints. <laughs> we're gonna be using the back, which would be unfortunate. So the areas often that we want to be doing the work are a little bit slower to react. So you gotta give them the time, really find them, send the mind to those areas so that they will do the work rather than us just kind of pointlessly bouncing around. I don't know where Leo's going, that's so strange. He made such a good appearance and then it's just that the, uh, the patio is open right now. And when the patio is open, that's where usually they would rather be.
actually surprised that Luna's not out there right now. Couple more here. And last one, good. Touch that bottom hand down. Again, if you need to just turn this foot in a little bit, you can pivot out of the knee. Leg lifts 20 times, knee to elbow. So we squeeze, extend. So knee should be bending a little bit above the line of the hip rather than forward. So I'm gonna show you, we don't want it to come in front because hey, guess what? You're not gonna get the oblique if you're coming just a straight line in front. This bottom hand should be directly underneath the shoulder, should be in line with the bottom knee. And it should feel like a nice stretch here as you reach. It's halfway. So there's a lot of control in these. If you can't quite make contact with knee to elbow, don't worry about it. It'll, it'll happen over time, but it's not always something that happens immediately. But like I said, don't sacrifice this line. So don't take it in front of the body just to be able to make contact because that's not the move. <laughs> that's not actually what we're doing here. One more here. Keep that leg up, arm is gonna reach straight up, and we're gonna twist it through. So, tuck under, big reach, open up. Keeping that leg floating. So it's gonna be a little bit outer thighs and glutes as well. Might be able to hear Luna just back here. <laughs> Getting distracted watching her. Luna does what Luna wants all the time. She's, uh, she is the alpha. She lays down the law around here. Even though she is much smaller, she's less than half the size of Leo. Doesn't look like it because she's got a lot of hair, but in terms of weight, she is less than half the size of Leo. And that would probably make her about a quarter of the size of Layla, the main coon. But yet she is the boss. A couple more here. And last one. And then you're gonna release that foot down, step this bottom foot behind it, and we're pulsing the hips up. I know I've occasionally mentioned astrology <laughs> during these workouts, but in case you're curious, all three of my cats are earth signs and they're all different earth signs. So it is a very earth heavy household around here. I'm not an earth sign, <laughs> though I do have earth in my chart, but Luna's a Virgo, Leo is a Taurus, and Layla is a Capricorn. Last one here. So we do have a complete set, <laughs> you could say. All right, we're gonna flip around here. Final little push, coming down onto the back. Just to finish it out, knees and tabletop. You're lifted into a crunch position. Mind you, you shouldn't ever be pulling it with the head like that. That's not correct. It's always a lift from the chest. I could pull the head forward as much as I want. I'm not feeling the abs doing that. So you gotta lift there, keep elbows wide, and we're doing a crisscross here. So thinking front of shoulder toward the opposite knee. We don't wanna be pulling on the neck. We don't wanna be just turning the elbow. Because again, you're not gonna feel it doing those things. So you really gotta lift up opposite shoulder and reach it across. Full extension of the leg. So there's no half-assing these. I like to take a little bit of a pause each time 
just to really feel it. Keep going. We're doing, I'm gonna say about 50 of these total. I say about 50 because it's a rough count. If you wanna count out exactly 50, be my guest. I think we've got about 10 though. Here's four, three, two, one. Knees in and go ahead, extend the legs out long. Final exercise here is going to be everybody's least favorite sprinters roll up. I'll show you one just to show you what's happening here. Arms are gonna be in front. We're gonna do woo, a big roll up. There can be a little bit of momentum on this one. Leg is gonna lift, we're gonna draw it in and then twist across. So opposite elbow toward that leg, back down. Now, I like to roll down to about here rather than fully down, just because these are a little bit about the speed. So it can just be up, down, up, down, up, down, constant. Whereas if you go all the way down, oh, now there's just this extra little effort of having to relift the head, do it all again. So you can experiment with that, see what you like. We are doing 20 of these, so arms in front. No stopping, we're just gonna carry through those 20 and three, two, one. So twist, release. Really controlling the release. Remember to breathe. Exhale on the way up. That's halfway. If you're at my pace, they do start to get hard. Not the most graceful exercise. It's four. This is my last one. All the way back down. There we go. We'll just give it a quick stretch here. So let's go for some twists. Twists are great for stretching out abs and obliques. Um, really nice actually just to release the lower back. So hug right knee into the chest here. Left leg can stay out long. And then we're just gonna take the left hand to the outside right leg, pull it across the body, whoop, keeping the right shoulder blade down. So you don't wanna be all the way over here, or again, you're not even gonna feel the twist. You gotta keep that right shoulder blade down. You can turn and look out toward your right there. And then think about breathing fully down into the navel. So no shallow breaths here. The leg doesn't have to drop fully to the floor. As you can see, I have a bit of space. One side is probably gonna be quite a bit tighter as well. And go ahead, release. Really nice stretch too, if you are a desk worker or if you've been sitting a lot today. All right, left leg comes in and then we're pulling it across to the right. So notice initially my shoulder does lift up. So I'm kind of finding the sweet spot. So I've gotta go back a little bit lay the left shoulder back down. I can continue to press on that left leg a little bit. So that's how I can intensify. But like I said, it might not touch all the way to the floor. Probably won't. And whew, release. There we go. Hug knees into the chest. Take a couple of rocks forward and back. All the way up to seated. That is this done, so a nice short one here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, of course, hit that like button down below. While you're there, be sure to hit subscribe. That really does make a big difference. And right now, while I'm uploading twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays, that way you will not miss any new workouts. Um, and of course, if you have requests for workouts you'd like to see, or if you wanna drop a greeting to the cats, let me know down below in the comments. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.